Tom Lewis to go finish the touch on the thing. All right, time now for today's trivia question. The course of the season. I, I try to pick opponents because of what they do, how strong they'll be, um, play back-to-back -back games, uh, play uh, on the road, uh, play uh, good long trips that you have to make. Uh, we, we look at all of the obstacles that you can have over the course of a conference season or if you're fortunate enough to get into postseason play, the same thing. And we try to gear December uh, to preparing us for every eventuality. Then the other part of our schedule, as long as I've been here, we have never played uh, a non-conference game once our conference season starts. I think everybody else in the Big Ten has done that at one time or another, but we never have because I want our players' attention focused on playing the conference season. We've turned down back in the, in the earlier days when uh, each school did its own television contracting before conferences took it over. We turned down a lot of extremely lucrative games in January and February because we wanted the focus of our team uh, on Big Ten play. However, before that, we try and do as many different things as we can. Like, we opened up on a visitor's, uh, on another team's floor uh, with Texas Tech. A tough opener, a, a game that uh, uh, was a real uh, highly publicized, highly charged game, great atmosphere to play in in Lubbock. Uh, brand new arena was a tough situation to take our team into, but that's the same thing that they're going to encounter every time they play a Big Ten game. Then we uh, had the chance to play a very tough team in Temple and the Notre Dame game is an uh, annual game, home and home. And, and then the Kentucky game on a neutral court. Uh, four, four good teams, four teams that are capable of beating a lot of teams and will over the course of the season. Then to keep with our idea of setting up just what uh, will be comparable to our Big Ten schedule, we go to Missouri uh, to play. Uh, and, and that's our game tonight. Uh, Missouri is a very quick team, a team that, that plays well defensively, a team that's won five straight games. Uh, I'm sure that, that uh, we're a very interesting opponent for the Missouri fans, and they will come out in force for that ball game, which again is very similar to what we have throughout the course of January and February uh, in the Big Ten. Um, we purposefully scheduled uh, this game on Tuesday night after a Saturday game with Kentucky because it's about the same amount of time that we have to prepare uh, for Big Ten games once the conference season starts. We'll try and uh, work uh, on Missouri's uh, offensive stuff and also what they do defensively, but we have to rely on the preparation that we've had uh, prior to this because two days just isn't enough to really work on something that, that somebody else does. And that's why we spend a lot of time working on a defense that we hope can uh, be molded very quickly to what uh, anybody might do against us. And the same thing uh, with our offense. So we'll go, we've gone over things, we'll go over things, uh, but yet what we're going to do will be essentially uh, utilizing the things defensively and offensively uh, that we've had for the past uh, four games that we've played. Uh, it's going to be a, a really good test for us to uh, have won a, a very nice game for us uh, against Kentucky, a, a game that all of our fans uh, enjoy and, and are certainly pleased uh, when we win it. We hadn't won it for a while, and, and to do so was uh, has been uh, a reflection, has been all of the comment uh, that I've received about it. But now we've got to get our minds focused on the next game. And we've had a tendency uh, in the past uh, three or four years to when we have won a good game, having a difficult time getting back to playing the next game. And this team uh, is so much more mature uh, in its approach than a couple of the recent teams that we've had in spite of uh, the fact that each has, has won a pretty good number of games. This team is just more mature. And, and yet I hope that uh, that will be evidence tonight uh, in this game with Missouri because we will have to have a real focus on this game to be able to do the kind of job that we want to do. Each Sunday. <laughs> Thank you.
ranked in the top 15, and they've done it with defense. The Hoosiers have held their opponents to less than 36% shooting from the field, and their solid defensive play has keyed their potent offense. Missouri is familiar with solid defense. The Tigers have limited each of their opponents to less than 70 points. Tonight, Missouri looks to pull off the upset of a nationally ranked team as the Tigers will try to remain unbeaten at home. Columbia, halfway between Kansas City and St. Louis, Indiana at 4-0, takes on the Missouri Tigers at 5-1. Hello, everybody. John Laskowski and Ted Kitchell, and what a crowd we have. They started filling in about an hour ago, a very loud group. They'll greet the Hoosiers as they come on the floor right now. And talking about the Hoosiers, A.J. Guyton has been their leader. He did it again. Let's go with Dueling first. Key, key and Dueling for Missouri. Well, he's definitely their best athlete. A guy that you probably want to keep outside. Make him shoot the jump shot. You can see he's their leading scorer. He likes to get to the basket. A great athlete. Indiana looking to make him shoot jump shots here tonight. He's got a great drive to the hoop. He'll be the guy Indiana has to stop. Let him take those three-pointers. Not shooting well from the three-point area. For Indiana, here's A.J. Guyton. Over 20 points in each of the games so far. And he's been very consistent. 22, 22, 21, and 20. Uh, he's been great. Look for Missouri tonight to really recover hard to A.J. Guyton. Make him drive the basketball, and then they'll probably help out. There'll be a lot of defense looking to help out on him all night. But he's been hot from the outside. That three-pointer keeps dropping. And now let's take a look at tonight's fueling factors brought to you by Fast Max Convenience Stores. If it's got to be fast, it's got to be Max. And for Indiana, they must defend the three-point shots. Missouri averages 25 shots a game from the three-point. Indiana must recover to the three-point line and pressure every shot. Inside play, Indiana has a size advantage. Indiana's big man should get a touch each time down the floor. For the Missouri Tigers, field goal percentage is a must. Right now, they're shooting only 41% for the year. Indiana holding their opponents to 34%. Missouri must do better tonight. Team defense, they must stop a balanced attack by Indiana, led by A.J. Guyton. Missouri defense, they haven't given up 70 points yet this year. Indiana will start three guards tonight. Michael Lewis will not be one of them, but that's not a problem as he comes off the bench very well for Indiana. We come back, we'll have the starting lineups in tonight's game. All right, here we go. Ready to go. We are back at the Hearn Center at the University of Missouri. Coach Bob Knight moved past Fog Allen in the sixth place on the all-time coaching list as he comes out getting ready to coach the Hoosiers. Tonight's starting lineups are brought to you by the Sagamore Health Network, caring, compassionate, and cost-effective. And for the Indiana Hoosiers, A.J. Guyton and Dane Fife will start out front. Luke Jimenez, they're going to start the three guards. Larry Richardson gets his first start of the year along with Kirk Haston. Kirk Haston coming off a tough game where he was in foul trouble against the Kentucky Wildcats. For the Missouri Tigers, Clarence Gilbert will start at one guard along with Brian Grower. Keon Dooling, Johnny Parker, and T.J. Soye. He's averaging 10.5 points a game. He is the basically only big guy that Missouri has inside. He has to be big and strong for the Tigers tonight. Quinn Snyder in his first year as the Missouri coach, a Duke 89 graduate. You're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. You can hear the noise here at the Hearn Center. And that's the Missouri student section, the lower portion of your screen. And they have been loud. Let's take a look at the series history. Indiana leads it 8-6. to six. But since that game in 95, that Indiana lost, the only one that Bob Knight has coached against Missouri, it's been way back till 1969 since these two teams have met before. Larry Richardson will get the start tonight. Kirk Haston will be on the bench, which is different from the Kentucky game. Haston got in foul trouble to not play much against Kentucky and we are ready to go Indiana in the road red Luke Jimenez Dane Fife and AJ Guyton Missouri the old gold and black there and white with the old gold trim tonight and we are ready for action 
And then Washington goes after that tip, waits till Gutton crosses the line. Indiana has the first possession. You can see they start out man to man, which is really no surprise. Quinn Snyder comes from a Duke program where they play very little zone. Basically going to stretch it out, really try to pressure you individually man to man. Indiana, I think it's very important for them to get touches down inside A.J. with a long jumper to start off with misses, but that's a good look. Missouri going to have to do a better job on A.J. Guyton. Missouri likes to run. They'll drive inside, then dish back out for the three-point shot. In games when they've shot well, they've won. And there's a miss outside by Gilbert, Clarence Gilbert, number four. Good block out by Luke Jimenez inside on Toyoye. Pass by Guyton, gets through everyone. Jimenez can't come up with it. Turnover for Indiana. See, Indiana kind of stood around that time. Nobody really went after that basketball as A.J. Guyton drove down the lane. Man-to-man -man defense by Indiana as well. Murray Richardson got to do a better job of calling out that screen as doing. Usually a guy that likes to drive to the bucket, a very athletic player, but you can see he can't pull up and knock down that three. Doolin hits the three to give Missouri the initial lead. And a pass stolen, tipped away by Sayoye. Up to Gilbert, layup is good, 5 nothing Missouri. Indiana needs to try to continue to pound it inside. Larry Richardson had, had the position inside, let the man come around him. Fife in the lane, Great good move. move, and he makes the shot. Great move by Dane Fife. Only a sophomore, but he realized it was very important for the, to get on the board. Sioye right inside, goes over Richardson. Sioye, you can see, he's a big, strong, little bit of a bull in a china shop inside. He's just going to turn and start heading towards the basket, so you got to use your head against him. Try to take the charge if possible. And on the other end, it's the same thing. you got to get position. He will foul you. He's been in foul trouble all year. 6'9", 236. He's a junior from Nigeria. First team junior college All-American last year. AJ's going to have to make sharper cuts. He's kind of kind of turning around those screens. You can see Larry Richardson has it knocked away once again. Three turnovers now for Indiana. Earlier we said Haston was in the starting lineup. Obviously that was a mistake. Larry Richardson and Lynn Washington were in the starting lineup, not Kirk Haston. Missouri, the five-point lead. Dueling brings it out. Very patient thus far on offense has been Missouri. But they're a team that'll drive it, and then they're going to look to take threes whenever they get the chance. Not a very good shot right there. Good block out by Dane Fife inside. 31 to Johnny Parker, 6'6", junior, missed that shot. I mean, they've taken 96 more three-pointers. 96, now they've played a couple more games in Indiana, but still 96 more three-pointers than Indiana's attempted this year. Good screen by Richardson. Guyton on a mismatch. Washington the rebound, and he's fouled from behind. But right there is where Indiana really has to take advantage. Lynn Washington did a nice job going on the other side of the basket. You know, 85, 90% of the time you shoot from this side, it's going to rebound. If you miss to the other side, Lynn Washington there. Take a look at it. Good position. Be nice if he could have got this one up quickly. You can see he brings it down for just a second. You can see Grower right behind him, slaps him across the wrist. Indiana will have it out of bounds. Number 12, Brian Grower, six-foot junior. third in the nation in three-point shooting percentage last year. So he'll be taking some outside shots. So Indiana's going to have to move very sharp, especially Guyton. You, you know they're going to be keying on him, so he's got to get some good screens. He can't be can't be rolling off those screens. You can see they knocked it away from him again. He's got to be stronger with the basketball. Guyton lost it. His fourth turnover for Indiana. Just three and a half minutes into the game. He's got to get tougher and stronger with the basketball. That's dueling. He makes the shot and picks up the foul. He's made both of his field goal attempts tonight. Makes the first one from beyond the three-point line, but this one will probably turn out just as many points. You can see a good crossover dribble gets him back to the middle. A.J. a little late, bangs him on the arm off the glass. Dooling's just a sophomore from Fort Lauderdale, 12.7 points a game. This has been an Indiana team that, in most cases, has been ahead this year. Has really not had to come from behind. So uh, on the road, and they're down early, they're going to have to be patient. Baseline drive, Sioye. 
That's one Indiana needed to come up, and this guy can really shoot it right here, Grower. Grower misses, five there for the board. See Missouri not going to get a lot of offensive rebounds. Lynn Washington wide open, Dane Fife did not see him, but it's also A.J. Guyton. And Guyton from the corner hits the three. And that cuts into this lead, 9-5 now, Missouri leads it. I'm sure if the two were left open, Coach Knight would say, go ahead and give it to A.J. Missouri tries to pull post up, Fife helps from the weak side. It's important for Indiana, to, they really have to recover out to that three-point line because they're going to try to throw it inside to Soye. And then uh, you've really got to recover out hard, not let the man drive around you. Gilbert on top. That's Johnny Parker. Three-point shot. And Richardson high for that board. Four rebounders for Indiana, just one for Missouri. Inside pass is good to Washington in the layup. See the difference right there. Lynn Washington had a great position, but didn't give up the position. Didn't give up the position. Caught the ball, took it up strong. That's the type of things you got to do. First two times Richardson had a chance to touch it, they were able to knock it away. There's the three-point shot again. It's off this time by Gilbert. Indiana with the rebound. Behind the back, Guyton, a running hook shot. Washington puts it back in. And Washington has been the difference in the first five minutes of this basketball game on the defensive and offensive end. And seven points in a row for Indiana. And just about a minute to tie the score at nine. Good communication there, getting A.J. over the screen. See, it's more of an offense that just likes to spread out, a little one-on-one, -on -one, very similar to Duke. The only difference is Duke has about seven or eight McDonald's All-Americans every year. Missouri, not at that level quite yet. Jump shot by Dilley is good. He hits it. That's a three-pointer behind the line. So Keon Dooling leading this team as he's supposed to. Got eight points now. And all three of his shots on the field. See, Indiana doing a lot of running around, but no real solid screens inside. They're going over, acting like they're going to screen, but nobody really setting a good solid screen. And that's a, that's, that's a little, you know, the fault of both. The guy setting the screen and also the guy setting him up. Whoever he's setting that screen for has got to do a better job of setting that man up. There's Quinn Snyder, Indiana, trails it by three. You're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. Some good outside shooting. Missouri 5 of 10 from the field. Take a look at Indiana's ball movement down here. Now watch how everybody's just kind of running around. That. you got Larry Richardson over here on this side. You can see A.J.'s the guy they're wanting to screen for. Nobody really screened for him. He ends up with the basketball. You see how nobody is really setting a screen here. Washington went out. He tries to set a screen. But, you know, the cutter has got to do a better job of setting his man up and then sharply cutting off of him. Right now we're kind of rounding those cuts off. There's a three-point shooting. We mentioned Missouri will take quite a few. Dane Fife, the cut to the basket, gets the layup, and he's fouled. He's a good setup there by Dane Fife. He did a nice job of taking his man out, and then he cut hard to the basket because of it. He has a chance at a three-point play. You can't see him. He's out of the picture right here. He took his man out to the free throw line, and then he cut hard to the basket. So Yoye, who has had foul problems, in there with with the first foul already tonight. Number 50, Jeffrey Newton in the lineup for Indiana. He replaces Lynn Washington. Michael Lewis, 24, also in for Luke Jimenez. And a block, Dane five, second time now. He's tried to pick up that charging foul. And this time it's called against him right in front of the Indiana bench. You don't have to worry about him getting on the floor. Five steps out. Good call by the official. You can see he's definitely sliding, definitely not set right there. Good defense by Indiana. Stayed on their feet. Sorry, Arie, big move, but misses it. Newton has the board. Sees. I'm going to start calling him TJ. TJ, okay. TJ Soyoye. Anyway, he turns his left shoulder each and every time Indiana starting to really jump to that left shoulder. Richardson open, decides to take that shot. It's a good shot, though. Larry Richardson is an excellent shooter. He did a, a, it was a nice fake right there. I think that's one he'll knock down 60% of the time if given the opportunity. 21 is... Kareem Rush 
in the ball game. A shot by Dooling is good, and he's fouled by Michael Lewis. Dooling now four or four from the field. Three of them are from three-point land. Four or four from the field. The last game they played against SMU, he went one for ten. So uh, obviously he's going to evening things out here tonight. Doolin converts the three-point play, 16 to 12 now. That's the rare four-point play, and that's the Missouri lead at four. And Newton trying to post up. Now Richardson again. Rebound to five, and he lays it right up. Indiana on the offensive board. Indiana just has to continue to put it on the board and then go after it. Got to do a better job defensively. You can see he stepped on the line right there. There's a turnover on Missouri. Indiana continuing to put the pressure on defensively. That, that, that's been the key to their success so far this year. This is the first turnover for the Tigers, but good pressure by Dane Five forced that one. Indiana really needs to spread it out and take advantage of their strength and size inside. You can see, you can see right here, Je Jeffrey Newton's got a guy that's only about 6'4", guarding him. He's got to, got to take care of the basketball once he... That's Pat Schumacher. He Schumacher beats him down the floor. 6'11", sophomore at Indiana. Now trails it by four again. Turn one mistake into two right there. You lose it on one end and then... Five loses it going down. Fast break. Jeff Hafer can't come up with it and turns it over out of bounds. And we've got timeout. Indiana, a slow start. They trail it by four. You are watching Big Ten basketball from ESPN Plus. He's going to get the ball knocked away. Watch him hang his head. Hangs his head. He gets beat down the floor. Two points on the other end for Missouri. Knocked the boy right here. Now watch him how he hangs his head right there. He's got a sprint back down the floor. Doesn't. Gets beat. Two points for Missouri. Make one mistake on one end of the floor. You got to beat your guy down the floor and definitely not make two mistakes. Missouri leads it by four. Kirk Haston in the game for the first time. He's either played great and a long, a, a, a big amount of time, or he's struggled with some fouls and not seen a lot of action, as in the Kentucky game. In the lineup now for the first time. Foul, no foul on Dooling. Foul on Dooling. Reaching for that ball. You see a lot of composure with this team, even though you know they're down four on the road. You still see a lot of confidence, a lot of maturity. You know, the one thing Coach talked about a little bit was the way he, he feels like this team approaches the game, feels like it's a much more mature approach than the team the last two or three years he's had. Right on top, Hayston was ready to set the pick, but Guyton picked the dribble up. Shot clock's at 13, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Haston hurried that one a little, came up short, and now fast break the other way. Two on one, but the follow-up was good. That's Rush, and the lead now six by Missouri. Rush, probably their second best athlete. He's a lefty. A lot of people feel like he reminds them of Anthony Peeler, who's a great player here at Missouri. He now plays for the Los Angeles Lakers. Pipe inside, now Haston going toward the basket. Offensive foul. As Missouri holds the position, Green Rush. Take a look at it. Missouri getting their hands on a lot of balls right here. You can see he kind of gets slapped right there by Rush. That doesn't see that. They call the charge. Jeff Hafer, the one that took the charge. Bob Knight off the Indiana bench. Seven turnovers now for Indiana. Just two for Missouri. The last two games that they've played, they've only committed 22 turnovers in the two games. Hafer thought about the shot. Now they set the 1 4 offense up again. Brower. And that is a travel. Clarence Gilbert shuffled his feet. And that turnover makes it three now for Missouri. There's Quinn Snyder. 
Take a look at A.J. Guyton down on the offensive end. They're really bodying him. Once he starts going to the basket, Dooling, who has been guarding him, really puts a body on him once he puts that ball on the floor. And that's the type of thing he's going to have to get used to when you play against teams like Purdue, Michigan State, those type of people. They're going to use a lot of strength and body against you each time you handle the ball. Newton spin dribble layup is off. But he gets fouled. Good move. Just one dribble to get to the basket. See, almost got it knocked away again, but good hands by Jeff Newton. Able to get it up on the glass. He'll shoot two. He's got to, uh, Indiana's got to be just a little bit more sure-handed. You can see a great spin move right there. Almost lost the ball. Good, powerful move. Gets the ball up on the glass. That foul on Schumacher. 6'11 sophomore. Newton misses on the free throw. He's just three of ten now on the season from the free throw line. Missed that one to the right. Good help by Indiana. See a lot of ball screens out there on the ball. Everybody running at the ball, setting the screen. So you really got to communicate defensively. You got to see your ball, the man. You got to do a lot of talking. That shot is good. That's Brower on the outside. He's the good three-point shooter. You see, he's not a very big kid. Only stands about 5'10", but he can knock down those threes. 23-14. It's Missouri by nine. Now Garden has it inside five. Nearly stolen. Paced it was wide open. Guyton threw it into the second row, so Indiana a little shaken here. And another turnover. That is, Ted mentioned, 22 in the last two games combined. That's eight now for Indiana in the first half alone. Still 9.24 to play. And it's built this Missouri lead. Missouri shooting 56% from the line, nine six, or from the field, 9 16 so far. And you saw the turnover, just three from Missouri. See, he turns to that left, left shoulder every time. Never turns the opposite way. It doesn't matter if there's one, two, or three guys there. He's turning that way. Michael Lewis tries the nine. pass. And five couldn't come up with it. Nine turnover. Indiana shooting well, 50%. They're 6 of 12 from the field. But they haven't gotten enough shots. Five less than Missouri right now. Good help by Haston. Indiana's been very good earlier this year, keeping the ball on one side of the floor. Tonight, Missouri's been able to, to pretty much take it wherever they want to. So Yoye on the baseline lays that one up strong. 7-0 run now by Missouri. They've increased their lead to 11. Indiana will bring Lynn Washington and Jared Odell in the game at the next dead ball. Lewis, bait the shot from the free throw line is good. Indiana will just be patient. There's plenty of good shots out there. Indiana shooting a good percentage. The problem is they're throwing it away right now. Eight for misses. Lewis comes up with one on one. Tried to dish it back, and the ball is stolen. Good hands by Brower. He's expecting AJ to pull up to his left. Rush fires the three, and he hits that one. Kareem Rush. And the lead is 12 by Missouri. And this crowd is wild. And that'll quiet it down. Move. Jeff Newton inside with the strong layup and the foul. Long arms and a real, real strong move by only a freshman inside. Great feed, good fake by Michael Lewis, kind of fakes to the corner, throws it inside, a good strong move by Jeff Newton. Here come the subs for Indiana, Old Washington, Jimenez, and Kyle Hornsby also in the game for the first time, so mass substitutions. Michael Lewis, the only one who stays in the game for Indiana. And there's the Indiana bench, Haston and Guyton. Missouri by 10. Mike Davis trying to cheer the troops on. Newton misses his third free throw of the game. Looks like he just rushes just a little bit. I think the free throw line doesn't have much confidence. I mean, he's, he's got good form, and he shoots the ball well. He's just not making any right now. So everybody came out except Jeffrey Newton. Lewis will come right back in, though. 
Missouri six steals already. Indiana has been averaging about four a game. Don't have any. Have nine steals a game Indiana has been averaging. Five alone for a game. Shot clock down to five. And there's a fourth shot. Jim and his two on two, but stolen away. Rauer comes up with it. A new shot clock for Missouri. Worked for, work for 35 seconds to get that ball away, do everything right, and then you give, a, give it away in two seconds. That's a little disappointing. Tough pass inside to Schumacher, but Missouri comes away with it. They're just a little quicker to the, the ball tonight. You can see as he travels right there, Johnny Parker. 20 to 31, Johnny Parker on the travel, but it's still Indiana offensively. Indiana just getting beat down the floor. Watch on the right side of your screen here. Nobody really picks up Rush. Takes a look. That's the type of team they are. You give them the three-point shot, they're going to take it. And so far tonight, they've been knocking that shot down. Indiana got to do a better job getting back down the, the floor on defensive conversion, finding your man and picking him up right away. Missouri now 5 of 10 from three-point land. And that's the difference in this game. They've taken six more shots than the Hoosiers as well. For the year, they're only shooting about 37% from the three-point line. If they shoot 50%, it's going to be tough. No team has shot over 40% against Indiana. Another steal by Missouri. Layup by Gilbert. That's nine points off 12 turnovers now for Missouri. So that's the difference in the game has been the Indiana turnovers leading to Missouri baskets. Missouri just playing a little harder at this point in time defensively, really getting after it. Indiana's got to be patient, make them move the ball around each and every time. Good pass fake by Jared Odell right there. That's a good shot by Hornsby. Indiana has been good as we talked about. You can see Missouri pretty much able to dribble all over the floor tonight. And then Indiana keeping them on one side of the floor, really taking the other side away. There's Hornsby forced the baseline, but a good move by Johnny Parker. He left hands it in. That's Rush. 21 is Kareem Rush. Parker is 31. You see Larry Richardson get up off the bench. That's exactly what Coach wants you to do. Coach Knight looking for you to, to force him down to that baseline. No big man came over and helped because of it. He got a layup. Pass inside to Washington. Now Odell, little jumper is off. Well, he made those shots against Kentucky, but this time Odell misses it. And the foul on Indiana. There you see the players talking about the defensive assignments. Odell comes out. Jimenez comes back in. There's the foul on Odell, reaching over on the rebound. Green rush, there's the drive to the baseline. Indiana not able to help, and the reverse layup is in. The lead now 16 by Missouri. Missouri way too quick to the basket for Indiana tonight. Indiana's help not able to get over there in time. That's the second time in a row. Rush has gotten down there and beat Indiana to the basket. Richardson goes up strong, blocked by Schumacher, and taken the other way. There's Rush again, baseline. Hafer, three-point shot off. See Grauer very quick to the basketball. Three-point three shooting, going to get a lot of long rebounds as they have it's a couple rebounds that Grower's been able to pick up up around, up around the free throw line. He traveled right there, got away with it. See, he's continued to move it around. Good pressure by Indiana. Grower tries to save it inbounds. Richardson picks it up. See, tremendous hustle by Grower. He's just all over the basketball floor. Not a very big kid, as we mentioned. But very quick. Lewis in the lane, hits the shot. Two, two great shots by Michael Lewis, but Indiana really needed them. 3.44 left, first half. It's been all Missouri because of 12 Indiana turnovers. And elevating well in the lane as Gilbert just misses on the shot. Indiana tries to go back inside. Washington 
Tried to get it to a cutting Richardson, tipped away by Missouri. And Fife will come in, and the Hoosiers look for some offense. They trail it by 14. You're watching Big Ten basketball. Grumpy about that because it's really up to the big man to cut him off right there. So far, Indiana's big men have not been able to get there tonight. Bob Knight on the floor now with the five in the game. Jeff Newton, Larry Richardson, Luke Jimenez, Dane Fife, and Michael Lewis. Indiana's worst start of the year so far as they trail it by 14. Closing minutes of the first half. Indiana shooting well. They're 50% from the field, but it's been the turnovers 12. They, they've allowed eight steals by Missouri. All right, Indiana ball. Jimmin is way outside. Whistle away from the ball goes against Indiana, and it's a foul on a block. Larry Richardson with the screen. We're going to call him for the foul. Larry gets in trouble. He, he, he gets some bad angles once in a while. You'll see him on the left side of the screen right here. You can see he kind of sticks his left knee out there. Tommy Rucker says that's not it's not a good screen. That's illegal. Not going to let you get by with that. Rush tries to make a pass, tipped by Indiana. Thirteen turnovers now by the Hoosiers, first half. Indiana really needs to concentrate, try to get this lead down to six, eight, something under ten points before they go into the locker room. Only 250 left here in the first half. Missouri very patient here in this first half. Now the drive, good help that time by Richardson. Ball tipped away. Fife's got it. To Good Jimenez. Pass. Excellent pass by Dane Five. First of all, to come up with the basketball. Leads the team with steals, almost three a game. But then he makes an outstanding bounce pass. The only way he was going to get it to Luke Jimenez for the layup. Hafer will take that three-pointer long. That's three of them he's had out there that were pretty wide open. Gage on the rebound. This time it's Grower, and he hits it. Somebody's got to find Grower. That's basically the only way he's going to hurt you. Drive into the basket, things like that. He's not going to do that very well. If you're guarding Grower, you've got to know where he is, and you've got to find him if he's out beyond the three-point line. 15-point Missouri lead. Jimenez fakes the three, and the runner he hits from about 12 feet. Good basket by Jimenez. Under two minutes now, first half. If you've watched Indiana play this year, you've always felt, at least in the first four games, as they throw it away, Grower dribbles it off his foot, ends up throwing it right here to Laz. Laz passed it to me, and I gave it back to the official. Now Lewis will have it. Try to get Indiana back in the lineup. Now a timeout, and it's going to be a full one. Timeout, it's called. 137 left, first half. Indiana trails it by 13. You're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. A lot of three-pointers. There's going to be a lot of long rebounds. It's not necessarily a thing of blockout, but you've really got to get after the basketball. The guards have got to get back into the free throw line and come up with those loose balls. That's about the third or fourth time tonight Missouri's come up with the ball. They've got second shots at the basket. Lewis, here's Newton. And just in and out, Richardson goes up strong. And the foul, Larry Richardson gathered himself and drew the foul. See Dane Fife able to keep that ball alive. Indiana have been very aggressive on the board. See, good shot by Jeff Newton. Watch, he's going to bounce up and down. Watch Jane, Dane Fife kind of jumps up between everybody, keeps it alive. See right there was a foul. They didn't call the push. They finally called the trip. Larry Richardson gets on the board with his first point, but he's been, he has been on the board. You can see he's got five rebounds already. Indiana. Just two of five from the free throw line. Indiana seems to be just a little bit off balance every time they catch the basketball. Don't seem to catch it with two feet planted. Just a little bit off balance all evening. And misses on the second. 
One minute, 10 seconds left. See, Missouri does a nice job of keeping the floor spread. You see how there's five people in five positions there, way spread out. Good long rebound right there by A.J. Guyton. You see that time, much more aggressive going after the basketball. Guyton still on the dribble through his legs, trying to create some offense. There's Fife in the lane. Lewis way outside for a three. That's a big one. That is huge and quiets this crowd. Indiana now a 10-0 run. They've cut this lead to nine points. See Indiana's big men doing a little bit better job of helping out. There's a charge. A.J. Guyton went inside, took it. Larry Richardson fell over the top of him. Hopefully everybody's okay. Looks like they are. Lawrence Gilbert picks up that foul. And I think Guyton's all right. Richardson hurt him more than Gilbert did. But he's just getting ready to say it. Looks like Indiana's big people helping out better here. A.J. does a nice job, slides over, gets the call. You can see both guys go down hard. But they'll get up with a chance to cut that lead down under nine points. Thirty seconds left, first half. Lob pass, Guyton just comes down with it. Loses it on the dribble, jump ball, possession arrow to Missouri. See, they're really bodying A.J. Guyton down low. They, they're catching him down around the waist, and they're pushing him off balance. He's a guy that likes to do things, you know, in rhythm, and they just knock him off his rhythm right here. There's a little... Watch this, they bump him right there, just knock the ball away. That's about the fourth time we've seen the ball knocked away. He's just got to be a little bit stronger with the basketball. When he sees the double team coming, he's got to get, get it and get rid of it. It'll be Missouri ball. Jimenez comes in now for Richardson. See Indiana with the four guard offense or defense almost. Game five for Jimenez. Both can play a small forward, but uh, majority of the case, uh, or majority of the time, they usually play a big guard. Shot clock is off. That's the game clock. Lower right. Missouri trying to take the last shot. Good pressure by. That's a five second call. I can't believe that he didn't give that one to Michael Lewis. Michael Lewis is doing an excellent job out there playing defense. And Indiana prevents the final basket by Missouri. 37-28. It's Missouri at the half, but Indiana scores the last eight of the half to cut the lead. You're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. Without citizens. Field goal percentage, you can see the real difference are the two stats here in the middle, turnovers and points off of turnovers. Indiana, a team that only has turned the ball over 10 and 12 times, respectively, in the last two games, already has turned the ball over 14 times in the first half, only eight for Missouri. Points off turnovers, seven-point difference. That's really the difference in the game. And then the last, you can see Missouri doing an excellent job from behind the three-point arc. Leading scores in the ball game. A little bit of a surprise because Fife and Lewis being Indiana's smaller guys, you would think you would see guys like Washington, Richardson, some of their bigger guys really doing the job inside. So far, Missouri's doing an excellent job knocking the ball away. They've not been able to get comfortable inside, and Dooling doing an outstanding job. Got off to a quick start hitting his first four shots. He did pick up two fouls. Only played eight minutes, but got 12 points. When we come back, we'll have second half action. You're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. to them shooting uh, over 50%. There we got a shot of Norm Stewart, 32 years. He was the coach here at Missouri. There he is in the brown coat. He's probably a little more relaxed than he was when he was coaching here. 731 victories, 375 defeats. He was the seventh winningest coach when he re retired last year. That is Kit Bond. He's a U.S. Senator from the state of Missouri. 37 seasons overall for Norm Stewart. He played his college ball right here at Missouri back in 56. See what Indiana does offensively. You can see they got the big guys coming up trying to set some some fade screens, fade into the corner. I think more than anything, it's just a matter of handling the basketball and being patient. And there's the shot that Lewis gets. A little testy there, tough to hit the backboard, so he had to shoot it straight on and rolled it in. Indiana scores the first two of the second half. Now they never got in a hurry that time. Coach Knight used to say it's, it's important to be quick, but you don't need to be in a hurry. It seemed like Indiana was rushing everything in the first half. Dane Five gets a hand on that basketball, so it still belongs to Missouri. There's Quinn Snyder. He's got the halftime lead. 
But Indiana's just cut into it. That's now 10 points in a row for Indiana. They gotta be selling more hair, hair gel here in Columbia than they used to be. What do you think? <laughs> and here's Missouri with the ball. I'm sure Coach Stewart wasn't using near that much uh, hair gel. What do you right. think? We just saw the shot there. He lost some of his a long time ago. <laughs> Indiana with the rebound, chance to cut more into that lead. Well, the type of start Indiana wants to get to. You can see two guys posting on top of one another. Haston and Washington working inside Guyton. That's what they want. Three-point shot is off. Fife there That's for the foul. board. And there will be a foul on Missouri's Johnny Parker. See how Dane Fife went up very strong for that basketball. If he just goes up with a hand, Johnny Parker probably comes over and picks it off. Watch how he goes up with both hands. Goes up to get that basketball because of it. Parker comes over the top. Indiana still gets the basketball. Guyton on the out of bounds play long. There's Fife again. Take it back out. New shot clock. And Washington does. Boy, good defense inside on Haston. Prevent him from getting that pass. Lewis all the way. Lays it in. You can see that was the same type of thing that Missouri was doing in the first half. That time a nice job by Haston of holding off the defender. Lewis able to beat his man, get to the basket. Indiana right back in the game now. They trail by five. Don't want to leave him. Brower just misses. What a rebound by Washington. Right between two Tigers. Indiana just needs to get A.J. Guyton going here. On the drive, ball gets stripped away and stolen. Washington with the foul. AJ has to know they're going to continue to come from behind and tip the ball away. That's about the fourth or fifth time, and I think Coach Knight's saying that to him. Watch that. See how they come from behind? They just continue to come from behind and tip it away. They don't, they're not able to steal, but they just tip it away. They knock it away. Turns into a turnover. 15 now for the Hoosiers. Student section behind is still standing as they have for the entire game. Good defense right there. Doolin misses on the shot, but the rebound inside is Gilbert. And now a foul on Lewis on the slap. Indiana got away with one right there in the Dane Fife. I think was standing out of bounds with one foot when he slapped the ball. Michael Lewis comes up with the foul. I don't know if we can see it from this angle, but Dane, Dane Fife's left foot you can see right here, he's standing out of bounds as he's going after the basketball, and the official never called it. Might have been better if he had. We'd have saved the foul on Mike Lewis. Missouri ball, shot way off. Guy, an easy rebound. Indiana just needs to continue to stay on track offensively. They finally got defensively. They've, they've started playing much better, more under control, put, kind of pulled their defense back into more of a shell rather than going way out on the, on the floor. Haston, shot is off, and Gilbert there for the rebound. Indiana not getting a lot of offense from any of their big guys. See, Missouri really wants to push it up the floor before Indiana's defense can set. Pass inside, and count the basket by Sayoye. He hits the shot and draws the foul. Good penetration inside by Missouri. Continue to run the ball up the floor. Can he get a late break? See, the man's going to come up the middle here. Good dish. Sioye uses his strength. Knocks the shot down. So that gets Missouri on the board here in the second half. Increases the lead to seven. Now eight as he converts a three-point play. A little full-court pressure here by Missouri. Not really a pressing team, but you can see they do come over and trap. Trying to pick up the pace just a little bit. Fife open on a three, missed it. They got out of it what they want. Indiana really not looking for three-pointers from Dane Fife. But Missouri got exactly what they wanted. Dueling misses, and the rebound to Jeff Hafer on the three-point attempt. So Dueling comes out firing his second three-point attempt. Baseline move by Hafer and a foul. Haston came over to help. Looked like pretty good help right there. Kind of a ticky-tack foul right here. He says, nice job. You can see really no foul right there. The Missouri player very fortunate to get that call. And to be out of bounds. But a turnover on the inbounds play. Indiana ball going the other way. Foul on Grower. 
setting the screen. So Indiana will have the ball. Hasten can't get the position inside on Sayoye. Really battling in there in the foul. On Sayoye. They got him. And he spun around in front of him, kind of caught him with an elbow. So you oh yeah, can say what you want to, the guy is in there busting his butt. He's really working hard in there playing defense. That is not it's e Wait, it's, it's easy just to stand in there behind the man. Watch how he's working. Now he's holding and he's grabbing and he's working. The officials finally call that. If Indiana will just be patient, he'll probably get himself in foul trouble. And he is. Three fouls now. And he comes out of the ball game. Schumacher in. They go right to Haston. And now Schumacher picks up the foul. That's exactly what Indiana needs to do. You see a good quick move by Kirk Haston right there. Good interior pass. Good quick move to the basket. Schumacher now has two. And Washington sees him. Good move. Goes up quick. He blocks the shot, but he got his arm with it. And really, uh, Soyoye and Schumacher are the only two big people on the Missouri team. Both of them now in foul trouble. Haston hits the first free throw. Kaysen has been struggling just a little bit uh, in the Kentucky game, even though the Indiana team played extremely well. Kirk Kaysen did not have one of his better games. And Haston hits both. Maybe that'll get him off the mark. All right, Indiana now down by six. Good defense right there. Tough shot is off. Rebound by Washington. See, Indiana really needs to try to get down and get some easy buckets. Haston into turning shot is off. Five rebounds. Lays it up and draws the foul. Now earlier this year, you can see Kirk Casey just a little bit out of sync. Earlier this year, he would have made that fake and he would have swung the hook shot. Tonight, he, he turns around and he tries to shoot the little jump shot. He's just a little bit off balance. Earlier this year, we see him make the same move. Boom, he swings the hook. You can see just a little bit off balance. But look at the great hustle by Dane Fife. Mr. Grit. <laughs> Mr. Grit, he is tonight. He's always Mr. Grit. I know that... Uh, and I know the coaching staff gets a little irritated once in a while. He'll, you know, make two good plays, and then he throws a pass away, or you know. But I'll tell you what, the guy is out there busting it all the time. That's another fifty dollars to the Indiana University General Scholarship Fund from Union Planners Bank. This season, Union Planners will donate fifty dollars for every free throw that the Hoosiers make. And five hits the second. The lead is cut down to four. As Bob Knight brings the team to the bench, you're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN+. Plus. The Indiana team that uh, we've seen the first four games of the year. Much more under control. You take a look at the rebounding. Shot by Missouri off. Lewis with the ball. Good job up. pulling it out. Need to continue to get your big guys an inside touch each time down the floor. Indiana's been very good at it. And the foul inside. Schumacher, Fife, was setting the pick. And that will be three now on Schumacher. And a big foul for Missouri. The reason Dane Fife gets good screens, you're going to see it right in the middle of your screen, he's coming across. We saw the left arm go out by Schumacher to knock Fife down. The difference is that Dane Fife is looking to screen. Sometimes you get guys that they kind of screen as a second thought. They're watching the ball, they screen as a second thought. Dane Fife, he goes to screen people. He's looking for people to screen. A.J. Guyton comes all the way across the floor that time to get open for the jumper. As close as Indiana's been now since the opening minute, they're down two. Good job by Haston of being there. Not very good recovery there because of it, they get two. Gilbert had the open shot for two. Somebody from Indiana got lost that time down the floor. One four offense by Indiana. Lewis at the point. Haston inside. Ball tipped away by Grauer as he beat Schumacher. But you just got to be stronger with the basketball right there. I mean, you got a 5'9", five, 5'10 five, guy knocking it away from you. That's two points that he's just taken right out of, right, right away from you. Kirk Haston, 6'10", has got to be able to, to, to finish that play. All right, Missouri brings in Sayoye again to take on Haston. Johnny Parker back in. Yeah. 
Missouri doing a nice job of helping out down inside on the Indiana Postman, but somebody's got to be open. Jared Odell, if they're helping off of him, he's got to step out and be ready to shoot the jump shot. Double dribble on A.J. Guyton as he bounced the ball as he caught it and then dribbled, trying to make the move. Second turnover by Indiana this half. They're up to 16 for the game. And Missouri brings it down. So Missouri keeps it so spread. Nice job keeping the floor spread. Indiana doing a better job defensively, though. Jared Odell the rebound. Got to read the defense right there. Almost throws it away. Guyton inside. Haston lay it up. Score. And the foul on the big guy. Nope, yep. that's on Parker. Difference, though, is he protects the ball that time and he's able to finish. I mean, earlier this year we saw where he was doing a better job of protecting the ball. This time he goes up thinking about that guy coming over. You can see bangs him on the bangs him on the elbow, knocks it down, has a chance for a three-point play. Good. Have a chance to get Indiana within one. Good play by Haston. Rolls it off the front of the rim. Two-point lead by Missouri, down quickly. Missouri continues to keep the floor spread, gets the ball screen. Green rush, the left-hander. Three-point shot on the way is long, but rush there for the rebound. Tipped out of bounds by Haston. Missouri wanted a foul on the three-point shot. Out of bounds to Missouri. Thirteen and a half minutes left, second half. Good pressure on that shot. Odell missed the rebound, though, and Missouri has another possession. And a quick shot that time, Kareem Rush, a three-pointer. And that all comes off of second chance points right there. Indiana did a nice job defensively, got the shot they wanted. Can't come up with the rebound. Haston inside, misses. Banged him on the wrist. And that foul on Parker again. So Missouri's made a switch to put Parker on Haston. Now Parker has three fouls. In the first half, they were getting away with some of the slaps on the wrist, but Haston makes a quick move. Watch Parker slap him right on the wrist when he goes up. You know, you see he just grabs his right arm. He acts like he doesn't do nothing, but it's pretty hard to shoot the basketball when the guy's got a hold of your arm. Haston again hits the front of the rim. Even as much as I like to shoot, made, made it tough. Uh-huh. But Indiana really going to Haston a lot more as they see a mismatch inside with the Missouri defense. So there's a mismatch on, on anybody. It doesn't do much good when he comes up 0 for 2 from the free throw line. That's 0 for 3 in his last three attempts from the free throw line. All those shots just a little flat, not a lot of legs in, in those shots. Dueling. Outside shot is good. That's a three-point shot. Two three-pointers back-to-back. Took a two-point lead all the way back to eight. 48-40, Missouri leads it. It's hard to continue to climb that mountain. Indiana done a nice job climbing the mountain. They've done it you know, two or three times. Got it all the way down to two. Now it's back up to eight with a chance to go to 10 or 11. Missouri down quickly, and the foul this time on five, trying to protect the baseline. Fife, that will be his third foul. He's played more minutes than any other Hoosier so far in the game. Take a look at the three-pointer. You can see just not very good recovery. Michael Lewis got screened. He wasn't able to get back. Come back to live action. Missouri misses the shot. Indiana with the rebound. So Indiana still trying to cut in now the eight-point lead. Here's Ole. Here's Lewis will try the three-pointer. And the rebound to Kroenke. Still a lot of time left. As you can see, over 12 minutes left in the basketball game. That's a lot of time. Inside, nearly stolen. And the foul will be on Indiana. Trying for the steal. We'll call it on A.J. Guyton. Kind of a tough angle, not able to get a good look at it. 
Second on Guyton. Guyton just two of eight for the field with five points. Lewis is Indiana's leading scorer. Five of six from the field, one of two from three point land with 11. Five second call. He did not get the timeout. Indiana gets the ball. When he puts his hand out there and shows all five fingers, that means Indiana, means Indiana did the job. Quinn Snyder trying to get a timeout call, but it wasn't called in time, so the turnover gives the ball to Indiana. And Indiana will have the ball. This is when you need your guys like A.J. Guyton. They really got to step up, make a play, drive to the bucket, drop off to somebody for a layup. You know, got to hit the jump shot. Inside, oh, the ball was tipped away, and oh, Odell couldn't come up with it. 17 turnovers for Indiana. And the give and go, good, good help. Haston. Haston bats that one away. And Indiana calls timeout at the 11:27 mark. As this eight-point lead has been steady here for several minutes, and even team able to score. Earlier this year, Indiana really pushing the basketball up the floor. They seem to be walking it up much more tonight. Now, obviously, that's one reason in the first half is because Missouri was shooting a, an excellent percentage. It's hard to run it up the floor when you're taking it out of the net. But in the second half, Indiana's done a much better job defensively. Still not getting getting a lot of push up up you know up the floor from A.J. Guyton and some of the guards. This 30-second timeout is brought to you by Arvin Industries. And there you see the tough D, Indiana's opponent's field goal percentage shooting. Starting with a season low against Te Texas Tech. Kentucky's been the best so far at 40, and Missouri just over that now, really after a blistering first half. So in Indiana trails by eight. They have the ball. Easton comes out high. So what they're going to do, they're going to take Dane Fife inside against, against the smaller player. Oh, he got pushed terrible right there. I mean, you got three officials standing there looking at it, and they almost knocked him down. Leads to a fast break by Missouri and the tip-in by Sayoye as he beats Indiana's big man down the floor. And it's a 10-point lead. Eight straight points by Missouri to make it 50 to 40. And a hole is called. You can see Indiana's going to continue to go at Grower. He's only about five foot ten. Fife's about six foot five, six foot six, and they're just going to continue to post him down on the block. Missouri's going to really have to lay back on him. It'll open up the floor for Indiana. Probably some open jump shots for Jimenez and AJ Guyton. Fouls on Grower, and that's his third. That will put Fife at the line. Indiana did a nice job the time before down of getting the ball to Fife. Nine team fouls now on Missouri, so Indiana will shoot two after the next foul. That's another $50 for the Indiana University General Scholarship Fund from Union Planners Bank. This season, Union Planners will donate $50 for every free throw that the Hoosiers make. Fife will have a second chance to cut this lead to eight. And Fife does, rolls it in. 10.50 left. Indiana trails it by eight. You are watching Big Ten basketball from ESPN. Boom, right there. It's up in the air. You got three officials looking at the ball, nobody paying attention to the floor. Indiana getting, getting out of that play just what they wanted, a layup. Officials take two points away from them right there. There's five. He has been playing a gritty game tonight. Missouri ball. Indiana trails by eight. The trap by Indiana. It's Gilbert in the lane, blocked again by Haston. Second time now he's blocked the guards as they come in to try that shot. Good defense. He's been much more aggressive here on the. They've taken Grower out of the basketball game. Fife goes down in the lane. Looks like he got hit right across the neck. 
Inside, Haston lays it in. Good feed by Jared Odell. Reading the defense, throwing it up over the top. Good catch. Indiana's big men have got to be involved. Sayoye on Haston that time. Not as physical as he had been to avoid that fourth foul. Gives Haston the basket. Good hands by Jimenez. Very busy. And that drive in the middle usually means trouble for the defense. A foul on Haston as he tried to come over to draw the charge. Haston picks up his third foul. Take a look, Jimenez outside. You see just a little bit of bump right there. I think the call goes on Haston. Didn't feel like he had the position inside. One and one. These are big. Shot was off. Indiana comes away with it. That's two on two. Brings it back out. Thought about it. Now five, ten seconds to shoot. Good pass. Into Jim and his layup off, and Sayoye comes away with it. See, Dane Five creates an easy layup right there. That's one that Indiana's got to convert. Missouri needs to run clock at this point in the game. Even though there's nine minutes, you want to make Indiana work each and every time down the floor. You're already shooting free throws. Make them play defense. Try to get them to foul you. Inside, ball tipped away, and Indiana. Guyton goes down. Missouri comes away with the ball. AJ's got to go after that ball just a little bit harder. He just reached down. One of the Missouri players did dive and definitely took his feet out from under him, but the officials, I'm sure, thought that nobody had control of the basketball. And a foul, Indiana. That'll be on Jimenez. First foul on Jimenez. 18 fouls. You can see the ball rolls out here. AJ thinks he's got it. Boom. It should be a foul. The, the, the Missouri guy definitely takes the legs out. They didn't call it. A lot of times on the road, you're not going to get that call. You've definitely got to go down and get that basketball with both hands. Dueling on the free throw. He hits it. He's got 16 points now. Indiana's had a few opportunities here in the second half to come up with some loose balls. Their defense has been much better. They missed a layup on this end of the floor. They're playing much better in this half, but they've got to take advantage of the opportunities when they're there. It's a good look at Keon Dooling. He hits the second free throw. And the lead again to eight. It's been at eight quite a bit. Okay, Quinn Snyder's going to put Brower back in the basketball game. Look. Going to put him on Luke Jimenez. Let's see if Indiana tries to put Jimenez down in the down in the post. Haston comes out. Good catch by Kirk Haston. Oh, what a move what a inside! Move. Gets on the baseline for the layup. Got some great feet inside. You can see Guyton that time went after it with two hands. Comes up with it. He gets double team. Oh, Haston's wide open. He's got to gain the ball. Swing it. Jump hook just off. Five tries for the board. Jimenez and Missouri comes away with it. Missouri's been scrapping. They've come up with several loose balls. Three point shot. That one. That's a big on one. the line. He was on the line. Two point Only shot. Two by Johnny Parker. Anybody for this team other than TJ will step out and take that three-pointer. And the lead eight again by Missouri. Seven minutes, 47 seconds left in the ball game. Haston, jump hook is good. He starts to work in the middle. Just need to continue to take Sayoye every time they get a chance. He's got the fouls. He wants to play. He doesn't want to foul out, so he's not really playing much defense on the other end of the floor. Ball comes outside to Fife. Indiana blocking out well. Fife takes it all the way in. Jimenez, three-point shot is in. Big one from the senior. It is 54-51 as Indiana's cut the lead to three. Missouri wants timeout. That's five straight points by the Hoosiers. And you can see on the Indiana bench, 
They're ready for the comeback. Seven minutes, 11 seconds left in the ball game. This 30-second timeout is brought to you by McAllister Machinery, your local Caterpillar dealer. And there you see the Big Ten leaders. IU leads the conference in field goal percentage defense, team steals, and Guyton is the leading scorer. Five leads in steals with three a game. Hasten in rebounds. Assist to turnover, you can see Michael Lewis, outstanding. Now let's take another look at that Jimenez. Three it was good shot. penetration by Dane Fife. You were afraid that Rapper was gonna catch him from behind, but not so. Jimenez steps up. He's an excellent shooter. Whenever I've, I've watched him shoot in practice, he just continues to knock him down. Doesn't seem to bring that same confidence to the game, although he knocked a big one down against Notre Dame. That's a big one here tonight. Maybe that confidence is coming back. Here we go, seven minutes. There's your three-point shooting. Missouri averaging 25 a game. They're just shy of it now. They've attempted 22. Dueling all the way in, blocked by Newton. Scramble for the ball. Good help by Jeff Newton. They're gonna call it travel as Dueling came down with the ball. And Indiana will have it, a chance to cut into this league. Missouri now calls timeout. And Going to see it. Jeff Newton came over, made an excellent block right there. They call the travel. India. Fifty-four, fifty-one, Missouri by three. Seven minutes left. Indiana finally working their way back in this ball game. Indiana's done a nice job. Very patient here in the second half. They, they've taken advantage of their size inside, not only defensively, where they blocked a number of shots, knocked the ball away, but especially on the offensive end, they continue to throw it inside to Kirk Haston, and he has really stepped up here in the second half with 10 points. Haston now has 10 on the night, four of eight shooting. Here he is inside again. Sayoye knocks that ball away, though. So Indiana continues to go right into Haston. Just got to get the, get the defense off of him right there where he can come up with it. Back screen by Newton. That gets Newton open. Just long on the shot. Likes to turn to his left right there. That's a comfortable shot for him. Dueling sets the offense. His defense has been much better in this half. Rather than chasing the basketball around, you can see they're kind of playing almost a little shell right there. They've been helping out much better as Dewey able to knock that shot down. He's been a real thorn in the Hoosiers' side here tonight. One-on-one -on -one move there to the right. And he gets the shot to fall. It's a five-point lead now for Missouri. Fife in the lane. Dumps pass to Haston. And Hafer was right there to tie up. We're going to call a jump ball. Haston, possession arrow goes to Missouri. Dane Fife got up in the air. He's got to shoot that basketball, give his bigger players a chance to rebound the basketball. See him go down the lane, tries to pass it. Good, strong play by Hafer. You can see both players with their hands on the basketball. Good call by the official. And the turnover gives it, or the change of possession gives it to Missouri on the jump ball. No need to panic. There's still six minutes left in the basketball game, so plenty of time. Got to play some defense and get some stops. Move in the lane. Off five there for the board. A.J. Guyton, only five points in tonight's game. He's in the lineup. He's open there. Make it eight as Guyton sets up for the three-point shot. And he nails it. Indiana trails it by two. Missouri's done a good job of finding A.J. Guyton all night. That time they lost him. Gilbert matches it at the other end. Clarence Gilbert hits a three-pointer. A.J. Guyton got lost behind the screen right there. Couldn't get, get any pressure to him in time. As we approach the five-minute mark, this crowd on its feet now for some defense. Guyton hits two in a row, and Rush was right on him. Great threes. If oh, he makes a steal right here. Steal by Guyton. This possession, Indiana can tie it. He, oh, he fires got another one. That blocked. 
And that one was blocked. It goes off a of Newton out of bounds. A little quick that time by A.J. Geith. It was blocked, but then Newton hit it before it went out of bounds. There you see the top guns, if you will. Guyton now with 11 points after the two three-pointers. Dueling has 19 in the game. And good screen that time. Leaves Gilbert open. He hits another three. This one from the corner. Indiana making a run, but not going to do any good. They've you see Missouri doing exactly what, the, what they want to do as far as with the basketball, taking it inside, staying spread, getting the three-point shots themselves. Haston on Schumacher. Dishes the pass off. Now right back to Haston. Jumper good. Good look by Michael Lewis. Three-point lead for Missouri. Four minutes left in the ball game. Been Gilbert, who's been hot, number four for Missouri. See him lower left part of your screen. Newton keeps. Oh, Missouri in good move as Newton forced Kareem Rush back to the right side of the floor, but Rush took it right into the hoop. And timeout called by Indiana. Missouri leads it by five. As Indiana just cannot seem to get the lead, they've cut it down to two. But then Missouri comes right back and builds it back up again. Coach Knight talking to Michael Lewis. I think he felt like Kirk Haston was caught in behind and he couldn't help. Michael Lewis has got to help down. Well, Indiana, a 30-second timeout. Let's look at that last basket by Gilbert. See a good penetration. You can see the big man steps out and sets a, a good screen. Schumacher right there does his job. He's out there to, to set screens. That's exactly what he does. Gets his man Gilbert open, and Gilbert knocks down the three. That's two that he's hit. Luke Jimenez checks in for Lewis. There's Quinn Snyder. The Missouri coach on the bench. He's been working hard. Here's Fife in the lane. Missouri. Good defense the by Missouri. Yep, they're putting the pressure on him. Indiana 14 to shoot. Guyton calls for a screen. Now he's got Sayoye and a foul. a foul. Yeah, that's a foul. He just can't get out there and hand check A.J. Guyton. And that's four. Guyton called for that screen. He had Haston come up. Missouri forced to switch, and the fourth foul on Sioye. As soon as they got the opportunity, you can see Indiana. They get a good screen right here. Now you got the mismatch. AJ just got to drive him to the basket. Don't wait. You got to drive him because he's going to foul you. And that's his. That's number four. Four on Sioye. Ten on the team. Two shots for Indiana. Indiana's missed a number of free throws. Earlier, Haston missed three in a row. AJ Guyton, an excellent free throw shooter, not able to find the mark either. Eight now, eight of 16 for Indiana, just 50% from the free throw line. They've had some trouble shooting free throws earlier in the year against Texas Tech. They only shot like 16 of 25, so uh, they've had some problems at the time making those free throws. And there's the free throw by Guyton. The lead is for 318 left, and Indiana continues to try to make this comeback and get the lead for the first time in the ball game. We'll come back with the final 318. You're watching Big Ten Basketball from ESPN Plus. Way. They've had a big lead in the first half, as many as 17. And now Indiana's got it down. They've never gotten the lead, though. Indiana now trailing it by four. Foul trouble for the big men for Missouri. And Bob Nye finally getting some scoring out of his leading scores. Haston and Guyton here late in the second half. They both have 12 points now which is tied for high Indiana score on the game. Dueling leads Missouri with 19. Kareem Rush has 14. Indiana goes with Haston, Jeffrey Newton, and then three guards in Lewis, Guyton, and Dane Five. So it's a very small team for Missouri back on the floor. 
TJ has sat down. Johnny Parker's their big man. He's about six foot seven, so he'll be the biggest man on the floor. Indiana, is one, once they play defense, they've got to get it down to the other end. They've got to pound it inside to Jeff Newton or Kirk Haston. Five picks up dueling now. He likes to take that shot off the dribble. Five a lot, right up on him. A lot of one-on-one -on -one just dribbles around. You can see they get the screen right there. Three Air point. ball right there. That's one A.J. Guyton's got to come up with. Now, the shot clock did not not reset, so there's still only 10 on the shot clock. I don't know if Missouri's Down realized to five. it yet. Well, I think he realizes shot. it. And Haston with the That's board. Over the back. Bad foul by Johnny Parker right there. There's no chance he has it coming up with that basketball, and it gives Indiana a chance to go to the other end and shoot free throws. And that's four now on Johnny Parker. So Sayoye, Parker, both have four, and Schumacher has three. Grauer has three. Sayoye so going to come back in. 243. Two free throws for Haston. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the end of the ball game. you got to get your horses in there. So Yoye comes back in the game with the four fouls. There are 10, ten team fouls, so Haston will shoot two. Haston hits the first. That's another $50 for the Indiana University General Scholarship Fund from Union Planners Bank. This season, Union Planners will donate $50 for every free throw that your Hoosiers make. And Haston hits another. It's a two-point game. Missouri lead, 2.37 left. Here's Gilbert. Good pressure by Haston right there. And the rebound saved, but stolen by Indiana. Guyton on spin move inside. Comes way across to Lewis. Guyton, Guyton fights for the foul. board. Gilbert picks up the foul. Tell you, Gilbert's all over the rebounding there, just six foot two. He picked up the offensive rebound, the last Missouri possession. He's not real, real tall, but he's very powerful, very strong. Michael Lewis would like to have that one back. That was a wide open look. Excellent shooter. Gilbert on the foul. That puts Guyton to the line. He'll have two. There's the free throws. Indiana has not been able to capitalize on them. Kind of an interesting stat as A.J. hits the first one. Going into this game, Missouri had made 82 free throws. Their opponents had only taken 81. You can see, see that stat has been very much reversed here tonight with a much bigger Indiana team. So a 12-4 advantage for Indiana from the free throw line in this game. And it's tied at 64. Indiana. It's been a long way back for the Hoosiers, but... Uh, Back to where they started. And time left, 2.13. Five keeps his feet. Now tries to force Dueling back to the right side. High pick by Newton. Five gets through it. Good drive to the hoop. Pass stolen. And a foul on the shot. Lewis. Good passing on the interior by Missouri. Yeah, but excellent defense by Michael Lewis. He gets in there and knocks that ball away, but Missouri just happens to have a man coming across the lane once he knocks the ball away that comes up with it in Rush. Rush gets fouled. But watch Michael Lewis go back underneath him. See how he knocked that ball away? He was in excellent defensive position. There's nothing he can do about that. He got to where he needed to be knocked it away. Rush was in the right place at the right time. Rush hits the free throw to get Missouri the one-point lead. Nine team foul, so both teams will be shooting two free throws the rest of the way in. Rush averages 10 a game. He's well above that tonight. And the second rolls in. It's a two-point Missouri lead. Brian Brower checks in for Rush. He comes out. So again, a small team, four guards for Missouri. Brower's on in the line. Game five. See if Indiana takes it inside to five. Doesn't look like they're going to. They got A.J. working off double screens down low. Now Guyton has it. Newton on the pick. Double team on Guyton. Now Haston drives to the hoop. Hook shot is good. That's a sweet move right there. You can see he swung it a little bit more that time. He wanted to take it right in and did. Ties it at 66. Every possession becomes important now. Here's Dooling. Trying to find something off the dribble. Never ending job for Dane Fife as Missouri going to take a timeout out there. He's fighting screens, doing everything he can, trying to put as much pressure. Take a lot on the move, tie the score. 
That's 66. Here's another look at that play. See, a good aggressive move. I mean, it, it wasn't a maybe I ought to go to the basket. It was I'm going to the basket. It's a, you know, it's all, all in the, you know, the way you think about it. Travel. Jeff Hafer has the ball inside. Crucial turnover for Missouri. Not usually the guy who handles the ball. Hafer commits the turnover. Indiana ball. A chance for them to take the lead. It's a good job by Dane Fife of once Dooling gave the ball up of not letting him get it back. That, that is who Missouri wants the ball in, in the hands of is Dooling. Haston has it. Hafer is on Hastings now, and he realized he wants the ball back in his hands. Well, you want to stay spread and then get, get Kirk Haston down on the block. Now he's got it. Haston's got it with Hafer. So Yoye double teams. Five cuts in the lane. Layup is good. And Missouri cut the first cut off. Jeff Newton cut through the lane, and then Dane Fife cut right in over the top of him. It's the first lead for the Indiana Hoosiers. 37 seconds, and Indiana finally has the lead. Big possession for Missouri. Got to Dooling has it outside. Going to have to help out. Guyton falls down. Shot by Missouri off. Newton fights for the rebound. Saves it to Michael Lewis. Going to have to foul. Shot clock is off. So Missouri has to foul. Lewis Hafer. will go to the line. Hafer fouls Lewis. And that last offensive sequence by Indiana. Good job and good patience by Kirk Haston. He could have tried to throw the ball to Newton. Missouri really got in there, defended it nicely. And then Dane Fife made the second cut right over the top for the layup. Lewis is 17 of 22, 77% on the year, which is really not a very good year for him. As he's usually over 80%, he'll have two free throws, 23 seconds left. He puts that one down, and there's the Indiana bench. A three-point lead. So Missouri will get a last chance. Do they need three or four points to tie this game? They're going to need four right now. Indiana's going to take a timeout, which Coach Knight does a lot of times. He wants to set up his defense so he knows exactly you know, what they want to do against Missouri as they come down the floor. You know, this game, Ted, Indiana has been down the entire ball game. A lot of turnovers in that first half. They never gave up, kept fighting. Even when it looked like they'd come back, the lead goes back to eight, and Indiana's persistence finally paid off. And it's not easy to continue to climb that mountain, and then all of a sudden it goes back to eight points. Let's take a look at that. Now you'll see Newton. He cuts through the middle, then Dane Five cuts back the second cutter. Excellent play. Good patience by the Indiana offense. Take another look at it. You don't really see Newton cut through, but he cut through first. You can see him, he was down there on the other block. But it's hard to continue to keep climbing that mountain and then the league stretch back out there to eight or ten points. But at halftime, I felt this is a, a, a team that feels real good about itself. Uh, they like one another. They play hard. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's taken a real gutty performance here tonight. But, uh, you know, they've got a four-point lead with 20 seconds. Full court pressure to run some time off the clock. Now under 20 seconds. Here's Dooling. Takes it in the lane. The layup is good. And timeout called by Missouri. That happened a little quicker than Indiana would have liked as Dooling just drove right through everybody. And still 15 seconds left. Now Indiana possession. Now expect Missouri to put the full court pressure on. You can see on. Coach Knight not very happy with his big people. He knew that they were going to try to get to the basket. In that situation, you at least want to get back and try to take the charge. Watch how everybody just does the Matador defense. There you go. I mean, you, you don't want to make it that easy. There's still 15 seconds on the clock. You know that Missouri's going to deny very hard on the out-of-bounds play. They've got excellent quickness. They put all their, their smaller guys in the game. You're going to have to do some good screening, good sharp cuts, and if you do get it in, then they're going to hack on you right away. So Indiana sends all five players to help bring the ball in. Lewis trying to get a little more room under the basket. It's like man-to-man -man defense. Full court pressure by Missouri. If Indiana gets it. Look for him to throw it right back to Michael Lewis as soon as he inbounds it. He is the guy they would like to have at the free throw line. Nobody guarding Lewis for Missouri. And there he goes into Guyton. And there's the foul. Two seniors. You want them handling the basketball. A.J. Guyton, Michael Lewis. That foul on Grauer, his fourth. That puts Guyton back at the line. Bob Knight calls over, Jimenez, Fife, and Lewis. So both teams with that four-guard lineup in there now. 
This ball handling becomes so important in this situation. Guy hits on the first. He's come to life in this second half. Guyton now with 15 points. 73% free throw shooter. He bangs that one in, so he's made four in a row here in the last minute. He played by Dane Fife, make, tried to make him take as much time as possible off of the clock. Gilbert, three-point shot foul. is off, and a foul. Hafer, Hafer fouled Haston, and uh, that'll just about do it with five seconds left on the clock. You see, Missouri had the chance to lay up, but they were going for the three-point play instead. That's why they should back outside. Obviously, Quinn Snyder set up, go to the basket if they let you have it. Take it, call the quick timeout. If not, throw it out to the three, and we got to pump the three up, uh, which they did. They didn't hit it. And now Haston at the line, 77% free throw shooter. He's good on that. Boy, the free throws have been clutch for Indiana down and the he, stretch. And he has been the difference here in the second half. He really came out to play here in the second half, and he was the difference for Indiana. 17 points for Haston. Four seconds left. Dueling. He'll try a three. He missed it, and that's it. Indiana, a hard-fought victory, 73-68. They defeat the Missouri Tigers, and Indiana moves to 5-0 on the season. Missouri drops to 5-2. Bob Knight picks up his 748th career victory, 646 of them at Indiana University. There's a wave to the crowd as Bob Knight heads for the locker room. Kirk Haston with 17 points. A.J. Guyton had 16. Michael Lewis had 13. Dane Fife had 13, but it was the last six minutes of the ball game when Indiana came through with a victory. And, I, you know, this is a huge win for Indiana, not just because it's on the road, but to be down like that and to continue to fight back, continue to come back as they did, and then finally win the basketball game, that has to mean a lot to the players, and I know it has to mean a lot to Coach Knight. Time now to announce our power play of the game, brought to you by Synergy PSI, where energy comes to life. Kirk Haston, 17 points, 6 of 10 from the field. We had to wait to until the end of the game to announce that he did make the big difference. Here's Haston. Look at the difference, the way he went to the basket that time. He got the ball. I'm going. If somebody gets it in my way, I'm going to run over him. But that was Illinois State. Bob Knight and Quinn Snyder congratulate each other. For Ted Kitchell, this is John Laskowski. Good night.